Hey, this is The Hike with Kate, and uh, a couple of our previous hikes, if you will, um, have talked about, like, you know, purpose and, and what we want to do. And so if you haven't seen, um, I have recently launched Fuel for Success with some other amazing people, and, and this is why. This is the why behind it. So every year, me and my husband would... Um, go to the grocery store and buy dinner for a family of six uh, along with a dollar donation to the food bank. Um, you drop it off at these drop-off centers and it would just be like wall-to-wall -wall food. And it was, you know, it felt really good. It was a celebration of giving back. What I didn't realize is that sometimes when we have the best intentions, we actually create subsequent problems. And so talking to some other people um, you know, who are connected to people working in the, the food bank world, they definitely have a supply demand issue where, you know, during holiday seasons, there's this huge influx and sometimes it, you know, they end up with actual waste because they can't get it to the right places. And then there's other times where they're in desperate need of certain things, right? And it, and it, they're trying to find ways to manage it, but it's difficult to manage. And so when I came across um, Stephen Clark and the RTG group, and I heard what they do, I was blown away, like absolutely blown away by the level of quality and how much was actually going towards getting food to the people who need food, like cheaper than any other charity has been able to do it, which is amazing. Um, but then, you know, he tied in this this whole like discount app that if you're constantly donating every month the $39 to feed 30 meals, which is amazing, um, then you actually get discounts on stuff you would have bought anyway, which so you're actually saving money in the long run. So w what an amazing platform where everybody gets more than they give in, but we're actually changing the world. And so I was super excited to be able to launch this and, and then help solve one of those consequent problems. And there's this happens all the time with, with charities and ideas. Um, there's these subsequent problems. And so a lot of times, uh, you know, the charity has the best intent, but then doesn't realize that by by driving certain things there are subsequent problems um, so that's one of the things we, we want to look at like if you're solving a, a problem in the world uh, what other problems are going to ca be caused because of your solution and this happens a lot like there's an example that um, one of my friends from the path of moral leadership was uh, course was telling me about where they were doing uh, putting sanitization like toilets uh, in remote, um, I think it was Aboriginal communities. And what was happening in that country is that they were, they didn't also teach them and give them the tools and skills to clean them. So people would stop using them because they got so dirty and then they'd just become these actual cesspools and, and actually were causing more disease. And so while they were solving an initial problem, oh, we need to, you know, stop people from defecating everywhere. They didn't, see the solution through. So they just gave up on the solution instead of saying, okay, there's a subsequent problem, how do we fix it? Okay, what's the subsequent problem? How do we fix it? So when we look at solving some of the world's problems, it's not a simple check the box done. There's going to be subsequent problems. We always got to look further. And th that's the nice thing about business, right? Is business is longer, uh, hopefully. <laughs> If you have, if you're running a good business, it's it's longer term. So you always you do those tweaks. You you okay now we need to tweak it this way, and it's not quite right. We tweak it this way, and there's this continuity, um, that that happens, right? Uh, so I think really when I talked about this, business is the mechanism for for solving some of this stuff. But I'm super excited, guys. I really want to jump on board. You can join the challenge. So you actually join the challenge. Um, by clicking, I'll put the link in the, the comments, but you can actually join, sign up, um, after your first month of donation, your money goes, uh, or you get access to this discount app, which is awesome. It's a bonus, but the way that this has been done, you're actually feeding people consistently throughout the year, which is so cool because it's solving that problem. It's solving that flow problem of, you know, huge donation at uh, holidays and then, there, there's this gap between other other 
you know, holiday times where people tend to donate. So uh, please, please join me because we should not have, we absolutely should not have a hunger problem in North America. And we start feeding people and that's the first step for their success. So please, please join. It's really an amazing cause. And if you have the ability to do it, click, sign up, join me, because I'm doing this for life. I'm feeding people for life. Um, and then if you don't have the ability right now, I totally understand times are tough, like it, comment, share it. That is support and that in itself will go a long way because maybe somebody in your network can join. But we can make a difference together. So join me. Thanks. Bye.